Here is the DNA sequence, or part of the DNA sequence, from Michael Ibsen. And this is that of the second lineage. As you can see, they did indeed match one another. So this verified the family tree as set out by Professor Kevin Schur. <coughs> the next step was to see if the DNA sequence from the skeletal remains matched with these individuals. And I can now tell you, there is a DNA match between the maternal DNA from the descendants of the family of Richard III and the skeletal remains that we found at the Greyfriars dig. In short, the DNA evidence points to these being the remains of Richard III. It's something that um, it's shocking, startling in equal measure. And uh, I think I used the same words back in September when the remains were first found and I was asked similar questions. But to be honest, uh, the last day or last 24 hours, I've been really reeling in disbelief that there was such a, a match. It's something that I think will take a while to digest. Um, I mean, even to have nothing to do with a, a story like this, be interested in history, I would have found it phenomenal in, in any case, but to be part of it. And the odd thing is earlier today, when we first arrived, we, um, Turi, King and I, paid a visit to the uh, remains of Richard III. And it was just uh, very odd to stand there in the presence of a King of England and to realize that actually you're, you're related to him.